Hey, what's up all you do-it-yourselfers? My name is Dylan Taylor and this is Dylan's DIY Workshop. Today we are going to talk about this right here, a really cheap wood burner and whether or not it's good enough for you. Okay, so I'm assuming that you guys are watching this video because you want to get into wood burning. Maybe you've seen my other wood burning tutorials and maybe you just want to know if it's worth buying one of these for $20 rather than buying something way more expensive. Is there a difference? And I'm gonna kinda let you guys in on that right now. This wood burner is super simple. It's extremely simple. You plug it in, that's it. There's no adjustable heat settings. There are ones with adjustable heat settings where you can turn it up or down. Those are a little bit easier to use than this one because you can adjust whether you want it to be hotter or not quite as hot. This is fairly easy to use. It's simple and you can get right into wood burning. Make sure you pick the right kind of wood. I have a video just talking about the best kind of wood to use for wood burning, I will put a card right here and you can check that out. So this wood burner right here has one bit on it. It's kind of like this flat pointed chisel and you can get different soldering iron style wood burners like this with different tips that unscrew. Want to make sure that if you do get one of those and you're changing this tip, let it cool down all the way, have it unplugged, completely cooled down. You can touch it with your bare hands and then you can unscrew it. You can't just wait five minutes after you're done and unplugging the wood burner. You have to let it cool down because if it's still hot and you try to put pressure on those threads, it can just shear right off and then you'll be left with threads stuck in it. I had a friend, that same thing happened to him quite a while back and the only way he got it out was uh, drilling into it and taking it out. So it's really, it would be a pain in the butt to have to do that. Turn it off, let it cool down and then take it out. So we're talking about whether this is going to be a worthwhile investment compared to say something like this. Uh, you guys have probably seen it in my other videos. I'm not sponsored by Razor Tip, and quite frankly, they won't sponsor me. Uh, I've requested that they do that or even send me another unit for me to review, and they said they wouldn't do that. It's only by positive word of mouth, and I have nothing bad to say about this, but I've also never tried any other pyrography systems, so I don't know if this is the best one. I'm just saying it's a pyrography system. The only extremely good thing I notice about this system is the fact that the pens can be held right at the tip. You see the difference between holding this up here where the tip is a good three inches away from my fingers and I'm holding on to this big fat handle or where my fingers can be three quarters of an inch or even less away from the workpiece and I'm holding on to this nice soft squishy foam pen piece. Now all kinds of pyrography systems have that so is it better to get a wood burner like this or a pyrography system? Don't even worry about the razor tip name. It's a good wood burner and I've never had a problem with it, but I'm sure there are some out there that are cheaper than that. And the only things that I can really say that make this better than this is how close you can hold it to the, the tip and the speed at which it heats up. This takes two, three minutes. This is eight seconds and it cools down considerably faster than this. It still stays hot for quite a long time though. So back to this. Is this worth it compared to that? Um, for $20 that you can get this for, $20, $30 Canadian, yes, this is worth it. Because if you don't know if you wanna get into wood burning, $200 Canadian to get that unit or a different pyrography system is kinda steep if you don't quite know. And so I would get this, just take your time wood burning with it, get it, test it out, and see if you even like it. If you kinda like the wow, you know, I can, I can, you know, make a, a, a horse or a unicorn or something, then you liken it. You do like it. Go ahead and get a pyrography system. It could be that one. It could be a different one. It could be anything, but something where you can hold on to the tip this close and that it heats up that quickly. And that there's a variety of tips and pens too. That is what I would go for in a wood burner. So get one of these to try it out. Is it possible to do incredible pieces with one of these? Yes. Is it more difficult? Yes. Can I do it being well versed in wood burning? Yes. And I can say that it's way more difficult. If I were to make something where I had to shade a whole bunch and I was going to make a car similar to the one I made for Tanner Braungart, the Audi R8, I could, I could do it with this. I could even do it with this being that it is only one temperature. It's not a variable temperature. I could do it. I can shade with this if I get really, really tricky with it and it, it's difficult. It's really, really difficult to make it use, like to, to shade, to get a very nice gradient. It's really hard to do that with this. It's possible. You could put your mind to it, you could do it. You could do it with the same tip. It's a matter of hovering over the wood just so lightly and kind of just touching it until it's the right 
right depth, right temperature, until the wood is burned dark enough. And it's really hard to go back from it being too dark. I have a video on that too, if you wanna check it out. I might put a card here, might not. Just go to my channel and check out how to erase wood burnings. This is great to start with. You can use it through all of your wood burnings. And if you get one with variable tips, you could get one with like a knife sharp blade and you could make really detailed things. And if you get a variable temperature one, you can make shading a lot easier. But this is always going to be easier to use. It's going to be twice as easy to use as this. Is it worth the $200 that it compared to this? For me, 100% it's worth it. If I need to sign something really quick, I can do it really quick with this. It'll heat up in a hurry. If I need to do something really fine details making pipes, I can do it with this. I could have done it with this. It would have taken a lot longer. So if you're doing anything where you're making a lot of wood burnings or you're signing a lot of things or you're putting dates on a lot of things, something that heats up faster, a pyrography system is gonna be your better bet. And if you have the money to invest and you know that you wanna do wood burning, the $200 to get the better tool is, in my opinion, a better deal. And that could be any pyrography system. However, if you just wanna see if you like wood burning, this is a good way to tell. It is much more difficult, so keep that in mind when you're doing this. If if it doesn't turn out so great, keep that in mind. It is much easier to use the other one, but for the price difference, $20 versus $200, you can get one of these and do some really crude stuff or some more refined stuff if you have the time. And like I said, if you have the money and you know that you wanna do wood burning or you're going to be doing a lot of it, just definitely just get a pyrography system instead. But if you don't know, or even if you wanna get this for your kid for Christmas, that's what my mom did. She got me this three years ago for Christmas, this one wood burner, and I didn't use it for a whole year until I decided I need to put somebody's name on a Christmas gift. And so that's what I did. I was wood burning names onto a Christmas gift and that was about it. Yeah, that's how I started wood burning. I made that ax back there. That was my second wood burning project. All of the, the wood burning there. And I did it with this wood burner, so it's not impossible. So all of this design was done with this very red wood burner on both sides, different patterns, and then even this kind of scroll work on this bit. Uh, it did all of that with this wood burner. It, it worked. It worked out pretty well. Now, would it have been easier with the other one? For this, not necessarily. Do you see how big and crude those lines are? They're huge. To do those lines with something that's like knife sharp, like this little one, it would take you absolutely forever. With this one, all I did was I ran flat across the chisel tip and it burned pretty good. So that's another thing to keep in mind when you're thinking about that. There are some heavy duty tips for pyrography systems, but there's nothing that holds heat quite as well as one of these. The consensus here is that the cheap wood burner will get you started if you're doing big stuff, it might even be a better deal, but if you're looking for something that is going to last you a long, long time, be super easy to use, and allow you to just get started and not be frustrated at all, I would say a pyrography system is better for you, but only get one if you can afford it. Basically, is a cheap wood burner worth it? Yes. I don't even know what I was going to title this video. Does a cheap wood burner work? Yeah, it works. A cheap wood burner works for sure. It is useful, very useful. It is kind of crude. It's crude and it's harder to use, but not impossible. So is a cheap wood burner worth it? Yes, it is. Is a pyrography system worth it? Yes, it is. It just depends on what you're using it for and how much money you have to invest in something like that and whether you're for sure on it or not. Do you just want to test out wood burning, see if you even like it? Do you want to get right into it? It's one of those things, like, it's up to you. Now, you could also think of the pyrography system that costs $200 like a table saw. Well, I need a table saw to start doing any kind of uh, carpentry work. Well, the table saw just cost me $400. This wood burner cost you $200, and it's top of the line. So, it's really, it's how you look at it. But a cheap wood burner will do what you need it to do it will be harder, but it'll do it. So I've said that probably like six times, and I, I didn't write out a script for this, and I apologize. So that's gonna be the end of this video, guys, and I really do want to thank my first patron supporter. My patron support, my first Patreon supporter, and that is Infinite Craftsman. I just, I really wanna give a, a heartfelt thank you for 
making me start with the Patreon because I honestly I wasn't going to start making p Patreon posts. I just didn't have the initiative. I had a Patreon, I had the link, and I had everything kind of set up. But this is now incentive for me to get it set up and get my crap together and actually post on it because now there's somebody pledging on my Patreon. So thank you so much. And if anyone else wants to help support me, just check that out. It'll be in the description of this video. Or if you don't want to pledge that and you want something tactile or something you can hold that I've made, check out my Etsy page. At the end of this video, there will be a thing right here on the screen. It'll be a mustache peanut. You can click on that or you can go to the link in the description to check out my Etsy store where I sell all kinds of things that I've made. Thank you and thank you Infinite Craftsman because now I'm going to actually be posting on my Patreon all the time because now I know that people are interested and I also need to come up with a banner for it. Lots of things going on and I just really want to thank you, man. And, and I just, I really want to thank you. So that all said, that's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new, please subscribe. If you already subscribed, please share this video with a friend. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to click on the mustache peanut.